Hello from Virgin Voyages Valiant Lady. A lot of people want to know what is it really like cruising with an adult only cruise line and is Virgin Voyages too risque or too sexy for most cruisers? Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, I may be just like you. I was wondering what would it really be like to cruise with Virgin Voyages? After all, I have heard a lot over the last year or more. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you what the demographics are like on Virgin Voyages, including is it just for young people? I'll also share what the entertainment is like right now and if it might be too raunchy for some. Now, if you have cruised on other cruise lines, I can tell you it is definitely different. Now, don't worry, I am gonna talk about the elephant in the room. Yes, the pineapples, I am gonna go there. And I will share what I think cruising on an adult only cruise line virgin voyages what you can realistically expect so that you can decide if this cruise line is for you now before i get started i did want to mention that if you like this video if you find it helpful informative or enjoyable in any way then please do give this video a big thumbs up i really do appreciate it and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already Let's get started. The demographics on a Virgin Voyages cruise. Now, when Virgin Voyages first launched, it seemed like they were really targeting millennials. However, in that first year after the restart, we heard from a lot of people that said that cruisers were really averaging 50 years old and up. But what is the demographic really like right now? Well, it did seem like on this cruise, and by the way, we are on a six day Caribbean cruise on Virgin Valiant Lady, it does seem like there are a lot of people that are in their mid 20s to mid 30s to early 40s. Now, there are definitely some people that are a little bit older like me. I am 51 years old and there are many people that are definitely in their late 40s and early 50s and even into their 60s and beyond. And there are some people that are in their younger 20s, but it does seem like the demographic in general does skew younger than other similar cruise lines. Now, of course, this being an adult only cruise line, you do not have any children on board and everybody is over 18. Now, even though adults of all ages seem welcome on this cruise ship, judging by a lot of the music that is played both in the shows and even in the hallways as you're walking, it does seem like perhaps they're targeting Gen X and younger. I say Gen X just because there's a lot of like 80s and 90s music that is being played, but perhaps that is because that is popular right now, even with younger people. Now, as you walk through the cruise ship, the people look very similar to people that you would see on other cruise lines from Carnival to Royal Caribbean, from princess to celebrity and to Norwegian. Now we've met couples on board, some with young children at home, and of course couples that are a little bit older as well. And of course there are people of all sexual orientation. Now Virgin Voyages is also welcoming to solo passengers. We saw on the schedule that there were solo cruiser meetups and we did meet some solo cruisers that told us that they were in solo cabins or that they were able to get reduced single passenger rates. Now, when it comes to the entertainment, this is where Virgin Voyages is very different from other cruise lines. Now, before I came on this cruise, I had heard of a couple of shows that I wasn't sure I would be that comfortable with. And I even debated if I would go or if I would maybe even just hang out in the back so I could slip out quietly. However, since we did come on board this cruise, we've been told that a couple of those shows are no longer on the schedule and all of the different shows that we saw, we actually found to be quite entertaining. And yes, there were some raunchy moments, but I would say that they just went right up to that line of your comfort zone, but then it did stop. Now, some of the activities and the shows that we went to included starting with the very first night where there was a pajama party. Now, I knew about the pajama party, so I did prepare in advance with pajamas and it was very, very happening. So this started off at around 11 o'clock at night. I really thought it was a lot of fun, but being honest, I probably went to bed somewhere around 1230. Now, other shows that we saw, and by the way, you do have to reserve for these shows, so make sure that you do that as soon as you board your cruise, but was Untitled Dance Party Show Thing. Now, it definitely is very, very different. Be prepared to be standing on your feet. I don't wanna say more, but go with an open mind and have fun. Now, some of the other shows, including Dual Reality, were just really great, very different shows, but I don't know that I would necessarily say that they felt adult only or anything like that, if you know what I mean until we got to the misbehave show. Now on a lot of other cruise lines, you might see a newlywed show or a love and marriage type show. So this was a little bit like that. 
except that this audience participation show seemed to be hosted by a drag queen. Now, if I had to really categorize this show, it might be like Love and Marriage meets The Quest and then gets just a little bit raunchier. Now, I would say that anybody who is easily offended should avoid it, but if you are open-minded and can just see it as a game for about an hour, I do think that you'll have fun. Now, the evening entertainment that I had heard a lot about, and perhaps you have too, is Scarlet Night. Now, on Scarlet Night, the entire ship turns red at about 8 o'clock p.m. Now, just something to mention is the entire ship is not red for the entire cruise. I had heard that before the cruise, but it really does look normal in terms of the hallways the entire week. But when it is Scarlet Night, the hallways are actually lit up red. But it is actually a lot of fun. And throughout the main area of the cruise ship, there are a few different fun little activities that are happening before it all culminates with the most happening deck party that I have ever seen on a cruise ship. Now, everybody does dress in red, so you'll want to make sure you bring a red outfit or a top and people gather around the main pool area. You'll see the dancers there. And yes, there is some risque dancing, but nothing that would be considered adult entertainment. Now on the deck around the pool, you will see some of the passengers or sailors as Virgin likes to call them, dancing and having a good time. And while it started to rain during our Scarlet Night party, it is common to see people jumping into the pool as well. Now, the one thing to know is when you're on a Virgin cruise, you participate in as much of the party as you want to. So in my case, I'm honestly in bed most of the time, still by 12 or 12.30. I think I may have pushed it till 1 a.m. on this cruise a little bit, but other people, especially younger people, I think are out in the clubs till two o'clock, 3 a.m. And by the way, in the galley, they do serve 24 hour breakfast. So it's not uncommon to see people having breakfast at 2 a.m. or later. So how is Virgin Voyages adult only or 18 plus? Now I know a lot of people wonder what to really expect from Virgin Voyages. However, many of the people that we met on this cruise told us that they booked this cruise because it was adult only, meaning there weren't any children. They were really happy to go on a cruise where they didn't have to have kids around them in the pool or kids running around with ice cream or kids pushing all of the elevator buttons. So for many people on this cruise ship, it seems like that's what they thought of when it came to adult only. Now we did meet some people on this cruise that told us that they thought things would be a little bit raunchier. They thought maybe the crew would be more scantily clad, but that isn't what we found. Now I know something that I heard before I went on this cruise is that if you aren't into a huge party scene that you're not going to enjoy a Virgin Cruise. And I just don't think that's the case. I know there are people that really enjoy a party scene and they're having an amazing time, but there are also a lot of other people that are going to bed just a little bit earlier and they're enjoying other parts of the cruise. Now you might be wondering, what about the upside down pineapples? Now for people who don't know what I'm referring to, you might just want to Google it but I have not seen any upside down pineapples on anybody's door. Of course, that could still exist and I am just not aware. So who do I think that this cruise is for? Well, I do think that this cruise is for people that are generally open-minded and I think it does skew towards a younger age group, but I don't think that that is mandatory. Now, by the way, I will be doing a full review of this cruise, including food, which by the way, yes, it has been very good. I'll also be sharing some information about the cabin that we are in and some of the other very big differences between Virgin Voyages and other cruise lines. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.